All right, gonna work on a little success here again today. And uh, where we left you off was uh, this uh, valve seat was bad, and I uh, put a plea out on the internet there to get a cutter so we can cut that and get that to seat better. And uh, we got a lot of response. I'll make a special video just to thank all the people that did, did try and help. But uh, for now, we're at a standstill. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll probably take the I'll separate the block and uh, take the piston out, clean that up, and take a look at it, see what's going on with that. And it shouldn't be too much trouble. You got two bolts, one here and one here. I'll leave the clamp down. I should be able to lift that off and uh, leave the wheel pan there. Shouldn't have to uh, empty it or fill it or anything. And chances are there aren't going to be, there isn't going to be any uh, an abundance of oil in this thing because even the slinger. You know, the piston was up, so the slinger is probably out of the wheel, so it uh, should be pretty clean. And then uh, we'll just hone it and inspect things and uh, put it back together. You know, I'm pretty optimistic. I mean, the rest of the engine is uh, really, really good. You know, I mean, everything is tight, crank, and the, the piston and everything. So uh, once we fix that, I think we'll have a good engine. That's why I think I'm going to continue on with it. All right. All right. Got us some tools here. Shouldn't be too much trouble. This is the one. This is the one's real tight. Remember, this is uh, look. That's where it should come off there. With just one uh, open end wrench. Okay. These are the long bolts, if we recall. Must have got longer. Yay! Alright, we got one. Alright, we got two. Alright, put them over there, get that out of the way, and uh, let's lift this up and see what we got. There we go, can you see in there? It's a little, uh, a little moist, a little juicy, but uh, nothing dripping. Fast. All right, I brought you over here to the vise. Here's uh, what we're gonna do. That way, the the engine wouldn't be rocking around on me and stuff like that. Now let me zoom in a little bit. All right, what we're gonna do? You bring the this is the bottom of the piston, the bottom of the connecting rod, and everything. Here's your slinger. Bring it down here. There's your slinger here. And what it has here is it has this these washers and they're sort of like a locking tab, you know, it goes around here and then connects over to here and it's bent over. So what we have to do is uh, unbend these tabs here and then we can uh, unbolt that. Alright. Alright. I didn't start unbolting anything yet, but I, I did notice something. <clears throat> and it's probably it probably wouldn't make any difference with an engine like this, but there is there is some play in that connecting rod. I don't know if you can see that. Cause it's going down pretty far. I don't I, I can't see the screen right now myself, but there is a lot of play, and there are ways of fixing that, or just uh, change the connecting rod. So we'll see what it is. Chances are it's probably the connecting rod, not the crank. So. Uh, Take it off and uh, deal with that. All right, I got this little piece of wood here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just going to stick it in behind the connecting rod to keep stuff from moving. And we've got a magic hammer here, and just a regular screwdriver, beat up old screwdriver. And we're just going to try and flatten that out a little bit. I think I got it. I hate to say it, but I think you guys are in my way. Looks like I got it. Okay. The bottom one might be a little tough. I don't even know if you can see the bottom one. It's actually bent on both sides. Alright. Yeah. This is 
a beat up old screwdriver, so it's don't really have an edge on it. Let me scoot over here. Excuse me. Uh, I can't even see it over that side. That uh, I'm gonna turn these off and uh, get you out of the way so I can get this other guy over here. All right. I don't know. I'm trying to stay out of your way. I don't know how much of this you're gonna be able to see because I'm down in the block here. Pretty loose. All right, let me unbolt them and uh, see what it looks like. All right, I got them all loose. I haven't taken any apart yet, but uh, here's that. Uh, sorry about that. I'm in for my hand in your way. I didn't want to stick my hand in your face, but uh, we'll come around here and look, see what we can see. Uh, let me back these off. All right, here's that. Uh, locking uh, washer thing I was telling you about and I actually uh, brought the slinger off with it I didn't want to do that but uh, no worries alright let's take uh, that cap, that little cap should pop right off it's not it's not popping off let me see if I can stick a screwdriver in there and loosen things up should pop right out of there. There you go. I see movement. I'm getting some movement. All right. I don't know if you guys could see that. Okay. Huh. Actually, looks pretty good. Look at it. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, it, it looks like it's scarred and everything, but it's not smooth. Smooth as could be. And the crank looks beautiful. Wow, the yeah, crank is beautiful. All right, now just going to push the piston down. Right now it's top dead center, and the crank will just swing out of the way there, and then uh, to push it down a little bit. Use the magic hammer and just uh, tap it. Now I should be able to turn this. I'm going to turn this engine around and then we'll pull it out. Alrighty. Uh, I moved you over here. All I do is take you out of your vice and put you on the table here. And let me flip the screen around. Maybe I can see something here. Okay. We already have a sort of a, a line here and a piston, so I'm just going to make it a little more prominent and put an arrow on it. And then one on the block so we know which way the piston came out. Alright, I'm not digging in or nothing. I'm just uh, scratching off a little uh, patina. Let's call it patina. Okay. Then this, uh, this should actually just come right down. If I can grab it. I'm going to stick this in here. Don't you guys do that. There you go. And... Also, if you disconnect the piston from the connecting rod, you know, you want to put that back in the same way, too. Huh. Well, this stuff actually looks pretty good. I mean, this is worn. We've seen that. So, uh, we'll, be able to, we'll be able to fix that. But, uh, this pin has play side to side, but that's uh, to be expected. But, actually has no play at all in it. Which is good. Okay, and the piston. The piston actually looks good. I might take the rings out and just clean them and then put everything back together. And then uh, we'll hone this bitch. And that cylinder looks good. Let me take you off the camera. We'll take a look at the cylinder. Let me take you off the tripod, I mean. Alright. Gonna take a look inside this cylinder, and this inside this cylinder is absolutely beautiful, unbelievable. You know, I know it looks like you, you're seeing scratch marks and everything, but uh, you're not. And uh, even up top here, you know, there's there's absolutely no ridge at all. You know, on a worn engine, you'll you'll get a little ridge uh, ring around the top, but uh, this is. This, this, this is one of the best cylinders I've ever seen. 
so uh, we'll just give it a real light hone just to glaze off and uh, we'll, we should be good to go here that's crazy I think this engine must have been well used but not abused you know well maintained so that's where we're at alright I'm going to clean that piston up and uh, see what we can do with it alright I cleaned that piston up and uh, that piston is it doesn't look it from the top because of the pits but the piston itself is in excellent condition and the rings too the rings are beautiful if you take the rings out make sure you guys put them back in the, in the right way because they are different shapes you know this one here has like a whoop <laughs> oh boy oh boy Ugh. You get there. Well, it's okay it's okay relax okay like I was saying, and this one here has uh, like two little bumps on the bottom. So that's uh, that's the bottom of the the ring. And this one here actually has a ridge in it too. So make sure that's the top one, the middle one, and the bottom one. Make sure you put them back. But uh, after I cleaned this, what I did is I uh, also tightened up the, the hole in here. Uh, I'm not going to show you that because anybody that knows how to do that can handle it, but I don't want to see, uh, you know, some some young guy trying to do it and then ruin a, ruin a good uh, connecting rod or stuff. And all you do is uh, you take it and you, you, you send it down a flat file. You got to do it with both sides of this one because of the way, it, uh, the way it's shaped. And then you need a, a bore here. If you don't have a ream the right size then then you're no good you'll, you'll what you'll do is you'll egg shape this and it'll work and it'll probably work fine but uh, you know it's just not right so if you don't have a, a ream and that, that was a three-quarter uh, connecting rod on here and I just happen to have a three-quarter ream so it worked out for me so that should, that should tighten everything up there so uh, let me put this back together and then we'll, we'll put it back in the machine there Alright, we got our hone over here on the end of our uh, drill. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, you probably ain't going to see much of this. I'm just going to uh, put a little oil inside there. Remember, we're not going to do, uh, we're just going to try and take some of the, the glaze off of the inside of that, which probably isn't much. Like I say, that inside of that cylinder is beautiful. So, Alright, like I say, you're not going to be able to see much of it, so we're just going to go through the motions for you. Let me see what that looks like. That might have been enough. Alright, let's clean it out a little bit. I'm going to have to get a screwdriver because my fingers aren't that long. Let me give us an idea. You see, see that, uh, that black stuff? It's a uh, cylinder wall. Like I say, that, just that little bit is, is all we want. Just enough to get the glaze off. Alright. Perfect. Perfect guys, so I have a little cross hatch going. Let me take these off the stand and show you. Okay, I don't know how much you guys can see, how well you can see it, but uh, that's all we wanted. We just want to clean that up a little bit. So when we put the rings back in and everything, they'll uh, reseat themselves. Alright, uh, let me throw the piston back in. Alright, got the piston in there. When you guys put the piston back in, just make sure your rings are staggered and uh, not lined up. All right, let me throw you back in a vise and we'll uh, bolt up the bottom. Okay, here we got the connecting rod on the crank there, and uh, I'm sure you put plenty of uh, oil on this. I got oil dripping all over the place here, and uh, there we go. Let's see, I see it on there real nice. All right, and I'll put these uh, the slinger on here, the oil slinger, and we should be okay. All right, bend your little tabs over here so your uh, bolts don't unscrew, and uh, let's throw you back on a base. All right, we're all back together there, and uh, everything seems to be working nice, so uh, this might be a long one. So uh, what do you say, enough of this? All right, later.